Welcome back to the Fab Forums. So, kind of all over the place in this uh, video, but you know, gotta put out the content, right? Gotta keep you guys updated. So although I'm gonna be all over the place, got a lot to tell you, got a lot going on. Made a bunch of progress in the shop. Uh, back lit the mini chopper. Got a new gas pump for in here. I don't think I've shown you that yet. Started putting up this wall here that you can't see right now. Got all the wiring done, so now the lamps and all that stuff turn on like they're supposed to when I flip the switch. What else? Um, SEMA. So last weekend, last week, I was in Vegas for SEMA. Always a great show. pretty much says it all. I love how the outside's all patinaed still. Then you go inside and it's like all brand new. I will tell you that this year it was way more crowded than it usually is. I mean, like by lunchtime, I was out. I didn't, I didn't really want to hang out in that crowd. So, yeah, I don't know. Kind of mixed emotions a little bit. Um, takeaways from SEMA, obviously a lot of Supras. And the other big surprising vehicle there was the Broncos. So, the old Broncos. Most of them were EcoBoost. I'm, I'm having, I got a feeling that Ford was kind of pushing that maybe, because there was a ton of Broncos there amazing builds all over the place. But yeah, now that I think about it, I bet you Ford had a little bit to do with that. I was supposed to be at Fabtech in Chicago this week, but 
SEMA and Fabtech being back to back. I just really couldn't make it happen. Didn't really want to leave the family for two weeks. Didn't want to leave Heather with the kids for two weeks. Um, and I got a day job, so that kind of hinders things too. Next year though, I think Fabtech's gonna be in Vegas. Maybe like a, I don't know. I don't know if it's back to back with SEMA again or if there's like a week in between, so I gotta kind of figure that out as well. Um, yeah, I may skip SEMA next year, just do Fabtech, I don't know, we'll see. Then as soon as I get back from SEMA, over in Greenville on the radio show, Hot Rods and Happy Hours with none other than Rob Pitts. That was pretty fun. I'll tell you five different things that they saw that, that you know what I'm saying, that, that stuck out to them. Like you asked Tim, hey Tim, what'd you like at SEMA? And that would be the... That wasn't even at the show. Yeah, that, you know, that, that real pretty car. I also got a bunch of work done on the Bipster. Uh, well, I consider it a bunch of work. It doesn't look like a bunch. It's mainly just trim pieces, but it's really starting to finish off that back cowling area around the radiator. Um, wasn't really sure how I was gonna kind of mend those two. Initially, I think I was gonna maybe break one of the edges and then rivet it together. And the, the kind of bends that are on that thing are a little bit too complex to do that. I guess you could, but I ended up just making a cat piece. Um, Still needs a little bit of a fitment, some fitment work, but pretty happy with it. So there you go, fellas. Like a little update, a little behind the scenes, I guess. I don't know. My life's been so hectic here lately. So much going on. Now it's starting to get cold. I gotta figure out heat in here, which I don't think it's gonna be a big issue. I actually fired up my little kerosene heater and it surprisingly did pretty well in here. I know I've said it a couple times, I really am gonna try to make a mad dash on the Bibster over the next couple months. I just gotta like, I don't know, it's so tough having this shop unfinished. I hate, I hate working in what I feel like is a construction zone. All I wanna do is get it done. But, yeah. All right guys, as always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys some more next week. Go do work, son. Mm -hmm.